This video is sponsored by Fox 3 Managed Solutions. Use the coupon code above to get 10% off your subscription. All right, welcome back. First in Weasel Silver Syria Mission 12. This is going to be for new players, uh, players that are new to DCS or new to DCS campaigns. I'm going to be walking you through everything that I do step by step, or at least the best that I can. If I forget to uh, explain something, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get you an answer. Let's get started. Dominant Enforcer. Looks like we just got our fuel. POLs heading out. <laughs> All right, start the aircraft, power up the avionics and radios. So let's go ahead and lower the canopy. All right, and turn the battery power on, radio on. And let's contact ground. So backslash F10, and you can turn immortal on by pressing F2. Press, uh, sorry, by pressing F1, press F2, request taxi. Hotel 4 ground, sword 2 1 requesting startup. Alright, get everything set up here. Sword 2 1, go for engine start. Right, start 2. Sword 2 1, starting up. How we doing down here? Oh yeah, we're ready. Let's go over the horn. Go. And parking brake. Engine online. Set VHF radio for sword flight. Press space bar when ready. All right, so Tom two seven enter. Press space bar. Sword two two lead radio check. Yeah, I got you loud and clear, Forrest. The special forces heroes just raced off in a hurry. Think something's going on? Guess so, bug. But no idea what. Wind sure look challenging though, so take care on takeoff. I'll see you up there. Lead out. Two to start up, get airborne when ready. Alright. So two back to one for ground. And let's uh, align our hemics. So list zero, recall, dauber right, and select. And did I turn that up? Here, let's turn the pilot model off. It is. It's going to have to press DMS down and hold it for more than a second. Oh, <laughs> that's right, the pilot model. Keep that in mind. You're right, shift E. You gotta lower the visor to see it. I like it. <laughs> All right, we'll line this up. If you have track IR, hit F7 to smooth out your movements. Enable switch to press, I think is what that button is. I'm going to hit F7 again to go back to normal. And then we're going to hit select. Select again. Everything looks good there. Lined up. Good. List 6. Ready is flashing. Align's flashing on the hood. So our alignment is done. Get rid of the pilot model temporarily. And we're going to go to nav. Alright. And then we want to go to, let's go to time. Make sure it says GPS system. If you don't see GPS system, you're probably underneath one of these hard shells here. And uh, you can't get that GPS uh, satellite link. You come outside your hard shell after you've aligned your INS and then stop. Make sure it says GPS system. And then you can go to your mids and turn it on. There we go. All right. Everything's looking good. Oh yeah. All right, let's get the parking parking brake off.
And we're gonna request taxi. Hotel four ground, sword to one, requesting taxi. Sword two one, you are cleared for taxi to runway. Alright. Sword two one. By the way, that is the last chance you have. I'm sure if you've gotten this far, you already know that, but that is the last chance you have to turn on Immortal. As soon as you taxi out, you're stuck with your choice. Keep in mind you lose points. I believe it's... I want to say it's 10 points you lose for Immortal. All right, let's contact tower. So, COM2, two, 2, enter, contact tower, backslash F10 and F1. Hotel 4 tower, sort to 1, requesting takeoff. Sort to 1, you are cleared for takeoff eight. on runway 28, wind 013 for 10 knots, altimeter 2980. Sort to 1. All right, here we go. Stop right there, turns nose wheel steering off. Alright. Push the throttle forward. Sort 2 1 rolling. Try and keep yourself center line, it's kind of hard to do. Especially with a little bit of a crosswind, but if you have to, you can tap the brakes at the beginning until you have enough air over the vertical stab. You can start over that tail, you can start using the rudder. We're fast enough now. Gear up. To one, wheels up. We're going to stay at a heading of 280. Very turbulent here. All right. I know that was ballsy going full mill and not burner, but want to. I know this is going to be a long flight, so I want to save as much fuel as I can. I know Ground Pounder designed these missions so you never have to hit the tanker unless you're extremely irresponsible with your fuel. <laughs> Alright, we're going to turn on our autopilot, altitude hold, and keep it on attitude hold for the steering, or for the roll, rather. And we'll settle down here at 280, and I'm going to go to COM2, 3, enter, backslash, F10, and contact departure. Hotel 4, departure, sir, 2-1, departing from runway 28. Turn autopilot off. Sword 2-1, turn heading 315. 315. Climb flight level 200. Zero, zero. Turn 315, climb flight level 200, zero, zero, sword 2-1. 315, Angels 20. That looks good. Attitude hold on pitch. Attitude hold on roll. Now, I don't know if this is realistic to real life. I never flew the F-16, so I don't know if it works this way in real life. But in DCS, on the roll, um, if you have autopilot on and uh, your roll is set to attitude hold, and you're, say you're like this, and it's holding it like that, if you just go straight and then let go, she'll go right back to where it was. So move it, and then let go, it rolls right back. What I've found is to straighten it out, let's go back to 315, is I'll move the stick to get it where I want it, and then I'll hold it there for about one second, and then I'll let go of the stick. Two, one, continue on heading 315. We know, departure deck M. All right, so <laughs> once we get it where we want, we hold the stick there for a second, and then we can let go of the stick, 
and the computer will keep it right there. But if you just like move it real fast and then let go of the stick immediately after you get it where you want, uh, it, it tends to, at least in my experience, DCS will, the 16 will just roll right back where you had it before. So to make a new hold, kind of hold the stick there for a second. And then it seems to do that. I could be wrong, but that's just my experience. That's how it feels to me. And it seems to work for me, so if you've ran into that. Alright. Coming up on 15,000 while we're climbing, we're going to go and hit DMS down a couple times to make that white box over the HSD here. Already our cursor switch back to 2 here and TMS up to create a PDLT. Primary data link target. And now if we turn on our Hemix, DMS down, hold it for longer than a second or so. We can now see 2 right there. Be able to find that that uh, PDLT just by looking outside the window. Look outside the canopy and find him immediately, especially if we're in the AO and uh, in the chaos of everything. It's good to have that so you can find your wingman at a moment's notice. Drop the nose because I'm losing way too much speed. Coming up on 18,000 feet. Still heading 315. Go to one. You are clear for Alright, so now we're going to go to steering select here. Proceed on your flight plan. That's going to take us to waypoint one or steer point one. I'm going to do this dauber, well, not dauber up, but I'm going to use the up arrow here to go to steer point two. I'll highlight over here on the HSD. You can see right there. The empty circle turns into a solid circle. And I'm not touching the stick right now at all. Computer's flying there for me. Set VHF radio for sword flight. Let's press space bar when ready. So two, seven, enter. And spacebar. Sword 2 2, check comms. Sword 2 2. Copy 2, pushing on flight plan. Copy Forrest, looks like we've got something going off to the east. Terror Strike Eagle just arrived on station. Copy 2, not our problem. Keep focused on the mission. Wilco. Switch Sentinel on uniform. All right, so right shift K to bring up our knee board. Left and right brackets to cycle through all these. We're going to go all the way to the mission data card here. Knee board here, so we're looking for Sentinel, so six. So one, six, enter. You set. And then space bar. Sentinel, sword two, airborne and on mission two, zero, zero, one. Requesting words. Short two, Sentinel. All flights are on mission and on track. We are clear to proceed as planned. We advise Russian West is operating from the north of Damascus. We will keep you notified of any air air threat. Copy all Sentinel. Sort two out. Great. Russian AWACS is up. Eh. Not our problem, bud. Let the Eagles worry about fighters. We'll worry about Sam's. Switching for vacuum on uniform. Vacuum. Seven. So, com one, seven, enter. Two set. Space bar. Vacuum, sort two one, requesting lowdown, Damascus. Copy, sort two, stand by. Lowdown, Damascus, six to eight, two zero eight, eight, nine. All of the customers is request, have a few fastening, having a creeping circuit. Copy all vacuum, sort two out. They are a lot less active than I expected. Sounds like we did a number on them overnight. Looks that way, but I'm sure that at least a few will wake up soon enough. Just keep your guard up. 
Copy that lead. Optional conversation is now available, so backslash F10 SIA. All this talk of the SIA in the border region is pretty concerning, don't you think, Bug? Yeah, it certainly is. The SIA seems to have a nasty habit of turning up where they're not wanted. They're pretty hard to root out, all right. I mean, we've been pounding them up north. Raqqa has been nearly taken, and yet they still turn up within 30 miles of the Jordanian border. Yeah, I hear you. We've got enough to worry about in Syria without those guys running around unchecked in the desert. Another consequence of the Civil War. Chaos in the absence of authority. Yeah, I wonder if that's what's going on in the East. An operation against the SIA? Yeah, maybe. I'm hoping we found the fighters that sent rockets at H4. Let's hope so. The idea of having them turn up inside Jordan and launching an attack on H4 could keep you awake at night. Yeah, tell me about it. The base is far too open for my liking. A V-bit on a suicide mission could cause us a lot of trouble. Let's just hope they keep that border locked down tight. Refugees are gonna complicate it, though. Yeah, it sounds like the numbers are only getting worse. They are, according to intel. Especially what started going on around Damascus. Starting to see significant religious tensions bubble up now. The militias? Exactly. Now we've got Shia militias operating in Sunni populated areas. And from the reports I've seen, the Sunni population is being forced out. Yeah, yeah, that's just what we need. Another layer adding to this conflict. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It does to Hezbollah. You lost me, Boris. A chance to reset the political and religious landscape in parts of Syria. Force out those most likely to side against the government. Just leave the supporters behind. Especially in the border area with Lebanon. Where Hezbollah want to be able to move more freely. Yeah, I can't see this war ending well for anyone. Or anytime soon, for that matter. I hear you. Looks like the Russians are really doubling down on this war. AWACS, MiG-31s, wonder what's next. Let's hope it's not any more sands. Ah, good point, Bug. We've already seen that once. Don't want it again. Yeah, not when we've worked so hard to kill them. But seriously, you gotta wonder. The Syrians are approaching a crisis point soon. Or their airstrikes starting to attack strategic targets. The SDF breakthrough at Homs, and the number of defections that they're seeing in the army. Well, something's gotta give. Yeah, I keep hearing about the defections. I guess that's what happens when you send your soldiers to attack their own people. Waypoint 2, Saqual is 15 miles northwest of us. Fence in, but keep your distance. Copy lead. Don't need any more surprises from that place. Alright, fence in and continue on flight plan. I'm going to go ahead and do altitude hold at Angels 25. Let's turn the pilot model off so we can fence in here. Everything looks good here. We're going to turn our lights off. And for our ECM, we're going to set it to operate. And then uh, CMS aft. Turn that on. Chaff flare buckets are on. Everything looks good here. I'm going to go master arm on now. Otherwise, they will forget to turn it on before I drop something. All right, and then air to ground. Let's turn all this on. Our uh, AGM-65 hotels. We're going to go power on, get them started, get them warming up. Go over to our JDAMs, power those on, let them start warming up. Back to the HSD. We're going to set our TGP over here. And our HAD over here as well see the SAM threats. Alright. At a SAM dispersal site about two miles northwest of waypoint three. Copy bug. It's a position tank and ghost hit last week. No factor. Copy. <laughs> no factor. Coming up on waypoint three. Let's 
switching to waypoint four. Oh, you know what else I want? I want the weapon page here for my Mavericks when I switch back to them. Alright, we are eight miles. Sword 2-2 two two are approaching waypoint 4. Push uniform for red 4. UHF radio to red 4, keep the VHF radio for, uh, set for sword, press space bar when ready, so right shift K, red 4 is 19. Alright, so, com 1, 19, enter. Two set. And space bar. Warden, sword 2 arriving is fragged, ready to proceed. Copy sword 2. Hold position north of IP and standby. Oh, here they come. Sort 2 1. Hold north the IP at waypoint 5 until Ward clears you into the target area. So we'll just stay up here. them go first. I'm turn a little tighter here. I don't want to flip any switches if there's some sort of trigger. Should I pass waypoint five on my super wide turn here? <laughs> turn a little tighter. I don't want to get near it. All right. Let go of the stick. Level 5, 30 seconds to release port.
switch to five now so we can start our turn early. Devil five, that's away. We are RTD. Spartan one, Devil three, mission is a go. Push now. Spartan one, pushing. You get car. Devil three one, pushing. Sword 2, push. Hey, hey, we're good. Sword 2, pushing. Alright, altitude, hold off. Bunk, head on to swivel. We'll set up an orbit north of the city. Copy lead, I'm covered. Push past the IP towards Damascus. Set up an orbit north of the city. Here we go. Multiple radars coming online. That's a lot of emitters online. Let's hope the harm's send them out. Alright, everything looks good here. Magnum. Look at that. Firing magnums all over the place. <laughs> Make 31, eh? Well, hopefully the Eagles can keep all that off of us. Holy moly! Bunch of SA6s, SA8s. Jeez. All right, so now that we know what's in the area, we're gonna look at our keyboard here. I've got a... Sams are shutting down, target suppressed. Devil 3 is off. All right, that's more like it. So I've got a SAM threat chart here. No active SAM threats. Sort 2 is holding to the north and searching for targets. SA-8, 10 nautical miles up to uh, 20,000 feet. It's like max altitude. Mud 10, stop the bullseye. Oh, where did that come from? Sort 2-2, two two, slap shot, SA-10. Sort 2-2, two two, engaging. Okay, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to move my TGP. You can see I'm moving my TGP with my RDR cursor switch, and over here on the HSD you can see where I'm looking. So I'm just going to move it until it's on his target, and now I have an idea of where it is. <laughs> I know that's cheating, but that's what I've been doing. Let's turn the jet towards it. And we have got clouds all in the way. Get a little closer, see if we can't figure out where it is exactly. It would be uh, it would be behind a cloud, like right directly behind. Sword two two Magnum SA ten. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to drop down, but I'm not gonna go below Angels twenty because we've got a bunch of SA eights, a 
sixes. Now sixes can reach a lot yeah, higher. John Dark, and just got brief indications of an SA-15 in that direction. Oh, great. That must be point defense. Copy two. Let's try and pin down its location. A six can reach a lot higher and further than an eight, but... All right, search for the SA-10 and SA-15 positions. Yeah, no problem, we can do that. Let's see if we can find it. It's behind that cloud, is my guess, because that's where he was looking. And my had... Yeah, my had's got it. The Grumble's back up. I'm still searching. Oh, very good. Just yet. GM5, though. Make sure you keep north. Let the jamming protect you. Sword 2 2. Contact Warden. Press spacebar when ready. Warden, Sword 2 1. We have an active SA 10 in the target area. Sword 2 is engaging. Copy, Sword 2. Shut it down before the strikers arrive. Sword 2 1. Alright, let's get a little closer. Okay, 2 is tally on the Grumble site. Do you need to pause? Uh, maybe. I just need to get past this stupid cloud, man. Get over here, I bet I'd be able to see it. Eh, yeah, why not? I'll just ask for it. Confirm. Send it. Pause is north. 3308, decimal 900. Oh, yeah, there it is. 03617, decimal 900. Elevation yep, 2,000 feet. The SA oh, yeah. is about 4 miles to the east. You might want to try and bypass it if possible. Okay, two. Hold north and stand by with harms on my order. I'm engaging. Two, standing by. Express the SA-10 battery before the strike package arrives. 1445, which is about seven, eight minutes. Uh, the mission can be aborted anytime using the F-10 menu. Bug attack options are available. F-10 menu. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, well, I'm gonna have him go after the 10. Sword 2-2, two two, engage, SA-10. Sword 2-2, two two, engaging. Nice. Alright, so my plan is... Let's see if it works. Hopefully... He can shut this thing down. Come on, 2. Oh yeah, there's Sword two two Magnum Clam SA shell. Come on, you know you want to shut down. Shut down, shut down, shut down. That grumble's gone offline. You might have a window to kill it. Alright. Turn hot. Make sure I still got it. Oh yeah, it's off. It's off. Oh, it's closing up. Heck yeah. Alright. Perfect. Climb, climb, climb. Yeah. Oh, it is shutting down. This is great. <laughs> I figured it just temporarily shut. I didn't think it'd like close up, pack up, and go home. Drop the nose, I'm losing too much speed here. 
All right, this is gonna be great. Hopefully nothing else pops up. That 15's gonna come alive here in a second. I need speed, I'm going into burner. Come on, come on, come on. Grumble stack up. Arms are ready if you want it. Crap. Mud six. Bulls two zero seven for eight. Drop. Sort two one pickle. We're out of here. Crap. Stay above the twenty thousand for that eight. Get the heck out of here. Keeping that burner going. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I mean, it's going to take time for that thing to unfold. Coming up on Mach 1. Definitely still inside the ring. Mach 1. Alright, coming back to full mill. And let's climb. And let's trim that out a little bit. We lost the JDAM. And then we need to find the 10 again. Make sure we hit it. 8 seconds till impact. There it is. Yeah, it's back up. Oh yeah, direct hit. Oh. Uh. SA10 has gone off the air. Uh, darn Hopefully right. Good. Hopefully they learn to stay down. Uh, they have no choice. They're down now. <laughs> that was a beautiful hit. Contact Warden on Red Four spa uh, spacebar when ready. Warden, sort two one. SA ten is offline. All players, mission is a go. Clear to proceed. Sweet. Hold on, station. Protect strike force. Uh, wait for threats to go active or actively hunt them out ahead of the strikers. So let's go back to the hat. So to do that, I'm doing uh, DMS left to control cycle through my left MFD pages and DMS right to cycle through my pages on the right here. So I'm going to switch over to our Mavericks because I can get a SA-6 with a Mav, no prob. We need to. Unless there's another 10 out there, uh, who knows. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with Pree. Pree's fine. I know I didn't align it, but or foresight it. We'll do that. We'll do it live. Strikers. SA eights. Fire can. Uh, no, we're going to go this way. Turn back around and start scanning with our HTS pod. Hopefully find something. Who's the Angels 15? There's two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nothing too dangerous as long as you stay above 20 right now. Another eight PGM two, so that's pretty good. Pretty good data on that one. Bunch of fire Front damage. Three, oh. northeast of Damascus, probably bull zero six six for eight. Uh, a three. Northeast of Damascus. I'm not picking it up yet. That's an eight fire can. Search radar. I'm not picking up a three. I don't even see it on the RWR. Damascus, Damascus. Door two, take out that SAM. Hammer two requires support northeast of bullseye, suppress destroys, distract SAMs, blah blah blah, okay. Um I guess have two targeted. He's got I think he's got two more harms. No, he's got three more harms. No. Nope. No, nope, two more. Well, mud six okay. east of Damascus. Ooh, there it is. Uh, I make it full three three six for five. Behind us. back around here in a second. Let's go uh, steering point. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's turn this thing around. See if we can't find that six. The HTS pod. I just wanted to get away from it. So I'm pretty sure I was like right over it. All right, there's Damascus. Two's got to be kissing that circle, that threat ring too. Uh, it's probably at the airport. Come on, pod. I'm not seeing the three either. There it is. Ah, I got you. Oh, I got you. Yeah. All right. Let's get this thing. Let's get below the clouds here. So I selected it, and then I switched to my TGP. And my hope is that the TGP will be able to pick it up. Let's get to wide. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Alright, let's look, look look for the radar. There it is right there. Alright, weapon. FOV. Let's get this thing locked up. Okay. Rifle. One rifle. Two is clear. We are way too low. Hammer 2 is good. Get past this. Please don't launch on me. 
<laughs> oh man. Burner in. Back up to 20. Let's see if we got that six. I don't know if we did or not. Yeah, we did. That's right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now uh, we got a three out there somewhere that I'm worried about. Not seeing it. Still seeing that six though. I don't know why that's still showing up. Is there another radar? Launcher, launcher, truck, another launcher. No, that's, I mean, pretty sure that's it. Oh! That was loud. Somebody was real close. I'm gonna climb back up and let's get back out there. That's the only, yeah, that's it. That's the, that's the radar. So we're good. All right. Still looking for that three. Still not seeing a three. That's an eight. Eight, search, eight, fire can, search, fire can, fire can, eight. Ugh. Switch back to my JDAM so I can stay up high. That was uh, a little too low, a little too low for comfort. I am not seeing any through what's this? It's an eight. That's just a bunch of eights. I don't see the three at all. I forget where he said it was. Ten. Alright. Yeah, in the heat of the moment there, I just fired that thing I didn't bore sight. <laughs> so, uh, I'm only going to switch it back. I should probably do that now. Let's go back to the Mavericks. And uh, I'm going to put that to uh, Viz. So, yeah, so. My bad. I got excited and I was getting real close. And it was getting scary, so. Uh, all right. Still nothing. I'm gonna come this way and then I'm gonna turn around. Put the HTS pod, which is on my left side, towards any radars. But I wanna get it further out and I'm gonna turn around. Put them put it that way. I mean it goes left and right, but 
that six is not coming up anymore. So that's good. I think it must have just been residual or stuck out there for something. This way. Let's see if we can't pick that three up. Bunch of eights and fire cans. <laughs> Nothing. No threes. Search radars. never saw the three it didn't even show up on the RWR or nothing huh no idea Turn that down a little bit. Still need to hear it, just in case, but. So one of each left. And I think two's got one of each, or he's got two arms still, because I didn't use him on that six. Go down to waypoint eight here and we'll turn around, I guess.
Squad 11, south of Damascus. Who? Yeah, uh, he's got two, so I'm gonna use him. Sword 22, engage SA 11, south, south. Damascus. I am already south and I don't see it. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, there. Sword 22 Magnum, SA 11. Ah, uh, he already fired. It's over here. I saw it over there on the HST. <laughs> Come on, pick it up. Yeah, let's. let's. Counter. I'm too low, too low, too low. There it is, there it is. The RWR, come on, come on, come on. Counter. There you are. Sort 2 1. Ah. I say 11. I'm out. Another one. He's already going after it. Say 11. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next one, dadgummit. <laughs> There's two of them out there. I saw it. I saw two. I looked down there. I could have swore I saw two smoke trails. Oh, come on now. Where am I doing on a fuel? 4,000. All right, I'm going to need to drop some tanks. Climb back up. Let's go to SMS page. Selective jettison tanks. Cause we're not using them. They're empty now. All right. Get back to SMS and HSD. Why am I not picking up any? Where's that other one? I could have swore I saw two on my RWR and two smoke trails. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? No, there's like four. They're not coming up. It's like they shut down. Let's stay outside that threat ring because I really don't want to risk it. But we're also supposed to keep these guys looking at us and not the strikers. And two is way outside. Now let's take a look at the threat. Here we are. Eleven is... Okay. Twenty miles.
Oh, come on now, come back on. I got a JDAM waiting. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the TGP, see if we can't find him. Oh. What's that? Level 6 is clear. Yep, look at that. Yeah. I mean, I don't... The last strikers are egressing. We've got more SAMs coming online. About time we got out of here. All right. Bug. I'll see you at rally. I'll cover your egress. I'm ready with the harm if you need. Counter. Warden, sort two. Strikers are clear. We are departing. Copy, sort uh, two. Six. Clear to depart. Spartan, renegade. You are clear to RTB. Fired him well. Ten. See the rally point, waypoint ten. SA six. Sword two two engage. SA six bulls two six nine for one. Sword two two engaging. Grassy ass. <laughs> Nine ten. Let's get out of here. I was gonna re-task him to the three instead. Source two two Magnum SA six full two six nine for thirteen. Source two two Winchester. Yep, I figured. Okay. Go towards. Uh, Here point nine. So we can go away from Damascus. I'm gonna burn a little bit. Get it get some speed here. Six just went off. Let's get out of here before that three comes on. SA6 Bulls 269 for 13 is history. Sixty thousand feet, so I'm not gonna overfly it, that's for sure. <laughs> hold and steering select off to 10 let's go let's go let's go got our uh, everything still looking good and we need to be at 10 at uh, 20,000 feet. Should be at 2,900 pounds. Shoot. I'll be above that. Oh, wait, maybe not. It's a long distance. We're quite a ways away. Two, let's go. You're doing way out there. I'm supposed to go to rally, and then the border is 11. I 
At that point, we should be home free. Come on, two. Oh, I see him. I see the little speck. Two, it is clear. Rejoin at rally. Hopefully two can get out. Winchester. Let's go, dude. doing on fuel 10 here for two. Make sure he can get out safely. Then I'll drop down to him. Sort 2-2, two, two, lead is at rally. Copy lead, 2 is at rally. Position and wait for bug. We're gonna change to waypoint 11 so that once I let go of the stick, she'll start flying that way. I tried not to over G it, uh, over G the the pod and <laughs> all that. We're at 5.6 max, so I don't remember the I don't remember the numbers. It's been a very very long time since I crewed the jet, so I'm not sure what the targeting pod maximum G is. I want to say it's in the sixes, like. Door 2-2 at rally. Rejoining. Alright. Go down to Angels 25. Ah, man, that was hard work. But we got the package through, okay? Hey, good job, boss. Thanks, Buck. Yeah. It's intense, alright. Yeah, it was. That was... Yeah, copy that for us. Oh, let's hope the Syrians take us as a warning that we can hit them anywhere, anytime, and they won't be able to stop us. Let's hope so. We've shown we're ready to escalate, so let's hope that can de-escalate things on the Syrian side. Yeah, here's hoping. But if not, we know we can go back downtown and remind the Syrians why they should fall in line. Bug, vents out. We're pushing for home. Checking out with Sentinel. Alright, UHF Sentinel, which is... 6. So... One, six, enter, and space bar, and we're gonna fence out as well. Sentinel, sword two is off mission. We are RTB. Copy, sword two, in RTB. Be advised the traffic on your route ahead and maintain angle two seven or above. Angels two seven, sword two one. All right, two seven or above. CMS aft. Or sorry, CMS Traffic's right. Ahead. That's unusual. Let's see what we got. said or above, I'm just stay at 28, how's that? <laughs> uh, they're all friendly, uh, there's a lot of them. Wonder what's going on. No idea, but we'll probably find out soon enough. Return to H4, alright. Let's just 
continue here, make sure all this is good. I'm going to go back to standby. All that's fine. Technically, we would turn off our chef flare and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that. Master arm off. And everything fenced out, and we are at 3.4, 3 3.3 and a half. To lead, contacting H4. Alright. So, um, approach four, so two, four, enter, backslash, F10, contact approach. Hotel four approach, sword to one inbound. Sword to one proceed to hotel four airspace, checking at flight level 270. Push to arrival at 30 mile mark. Level 270, two seven zero. Okay, two seven zero, and thirty mile mark. So let's go to. Attitude hold. And then we're going to go to waypoint 12. And 13, 14 is H4, so 30 mile mark. We're at 46 miles. Confirmed down here. Good, so far. Thirty-six, thirty-seven. Thirty-five miles. One miles. All right, let's contact him. So, uh, shift K. Arrival five. So two five. Enter. Backslash F ten. Contact hotel arrival. Four arrival. Sword 2 1 entering Hotel 4 airspace. Sword 2 1, clear for approach Alpha. Flight level 200. 200. Approach Alpha, flight level 200, Sword 2 1. Zero, zero. So we're going to go altitude hold off, go down to zero, zero.
421, switch for tower, comms waiting. Copy, sort 221, switching tower on Victor. Okay. Tower two. One, two, enter. VHF, oops. VHF tower is two, so two, two, enter, space bar. Tower, sort two, one. Welcome back, Forrest. Glad you made it back to one piece. Well, it was pretty hairy, but we made it back. What's going on, Popeye? Special forces launched a raid on the suspected SIA location north of the border. Seems to have flushed out a group of SIA fighters who turned up at the Jordanian border. JSTF Air helped put them in the ground, but the Jordans are on full alert here. Jesus. Guess what we feared would happen. I just spoke with the chaos. They're pretty keen to get us out of here and relocated to a safer base. There's just too much wide open desert between us and the Syrian border. Get yourselves on the ground and start packing. I expect to see more orders for us tonight. Tower has cleared you for an immediate landing on runway 28, wind 013 for 10 knots. Runway 28, sort 21. 28, alright. Immediate landing. Okay. I'm a little high, but. <laughs> Let's put the speed brakes on and we will just dive. here. In, the board's in. Okay. All right, we're going to drop the gear here. You're dropping. And... Regreen, looking good. Oop, a little overshoot there. Altitude, altitude. Oh wait, I'm on the, oh, no, yeah, no, that's the right, right one way. <laughs> I was like, wait, am I on the wrong runway? Nope, we are on the correct runway. Let's slow way down. We gotta drop, drop, drop. Way too high. The boards are out. in. Push the throttle up a bit. There we go. And I am way too far right. A 
bit of a bounce there. Don't want to hit the tail. I may have just had a tail strike. <laughs> oh, I hope not. All right. And slowing down. Boards are out. Stabs are up. All right. Let's bring the boards in. Go so through one, real. clear runway, and proceed to spot eight. Spot eight. That was a really uh, terrible, terrible landing. Press space bar when ready to view the epilogue. All right, well, why not? Well, let's get to our our spot first, huh? Um, let's see here. I think I might be in the wrong. No, it's spot eight's. Uh, I always forget the spots. Dad, gum it. All right, spot eight is over here. Right here, actually. This is it right here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I hope I'm right. Taxi lad on. From around the back side here. All right. And that was it. Last mission. I love this campaign. This is so much fun. I hope this was helpful. I hope this whole series was helpful for you guys. Um, I, I know that some things are kind of randomized, so it's probably not exactly what you experienced, but uh, hopefully it was at least helpful and maybe guiding you if you were stuck on something or not sure how to get past something. Get a spot here, and we'll stop right there. Let's open up the canopy, and then uh, let's press spacebar to see the epilogue. Operation Dominant Enforcer continued over the next 24 hours. Dozens of high-value Syrian targets were destroyed, and a severe blow was struck against the Syrian war effort, sending a clear message that the JSTF would not sit by and watch the slaughter of civilians. But even after the success of Dominant Enforcer, the battle for Syria dragged on. Despite their setbacks, the Syrian government forces fought on, and the battle of attrition at Yabrud continued with costly losses for both the Syrian government and the SDF. The situation okay. across Syria remains highly unstable as the Russians continue to support the Syrian forces. While at the Lebanese border, Hezbollah activity continues to build. And to the south, Israel maintains a close watch on events in Syria. In desolate southeastern Syria, the SIA continues to survive in the vacuum the civil war has created. Although their power base has been broken, they've become dispersed and elusive, and remain a constant threat to all the other players in the Syrian theater. And for the six pilots of the 79th Fighter Squadron's H-4 detachment, orders to relocate to a more secure location elsewhere in the Syrian theater. Their role in Operation Cerberus North is not yet complete. In fact, it has only just begun. To be continued, last out. And I'm excited. This is great. Well, I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. I hope this was helpful. Some of you, whoever, I, I know few of you commented that you were stuck on this one and 11 so hopefully this series was helpful for you guys or if, it, if not at least entertaining i hope to do more of these in the future uh with other campaigns so yeah keep an eye out for those see ya Yeah. Uh -huh.